it's Cassandra Lynn. <laughs> Welcome to Shadowcraft, a SMP with a few other creators. I'll drop them in the link below. But this is a modded SMP. Let's check out this tower. Oh. So welcome to Shadowcraft. Glad you could make it. Hello, hello. I I hope this is working. Chosen Heroes, if you find this, I, I need your help. The darkness, the creatures lurking in the shadows have taken me. Your hero, you hero, you must find the other heroes. Hurry, I don't have much time left. You must go to the something and find something there you something and can something <laughs> please <laughs> the connection was lost hero you must work fast take this gift left by the sun queen so i believe if we come over here we can see we made a bit of an advancement info In this, we will be trying to save the Sun Queen from the shadows and darkness. The, the story will grow and twist on our adventure to save her. If you have the time to look around, there is hidden chests with a few goodies from the Sun Queen. Sweet! So... Oh, what did that do? <laughs> So I think our first adventure is to really find where we want to live. I think that is going to be the first thing we need to figure out what to do, get some more armor, and I guess just kind of figure out where we're going to be settling. And so we're off into our adventure and seeing where we're going to end up. Of course, trying to look for where we are going to build. And we go through kind of that cherry biome blossom. Blossom biome? <laughs> and then through here, through the swamp, and I see this mushroom sticking up. So I need, I feel like I need to investigate this a little further and look for some more stuff like this. Um, but I go and investigate a little bit. And it seems like someone's been here since blocks are broken, but I'm not entirely sure. And I don't quite know what this is. I'm new to working with mods, so hopefully I can find more of these and investigate them more in the future. But it gives me some great stuff right off the bat. This is really cool, for sure. I take the chests because, you know, I'm going to need them. But then I stumble into this pumpkin biome and I like I am sold immediately it is so gorgeous I think it's the place I think the most important thing that we can start with is fortifying where our base is gonna be and this biome is called Pumpkin Pastures. So, it's really cute. I love the leaves. I think it's worth us investigating a little bit more. But I kind of think this is the biome I'm going to start my first build in. I've got cows, bees... Tons of bees. Hopefully there's enough beehives around. Just kind of want to survey. Oh yeah, I think this is it. I think we are going to build right here on the edge of this pumpkin pastures where we get the beautiful view. I think this is exactly where we will be building. Kind of right in this area in the pumpkin pastures. First, we need to figure out what kind of build we want to do. I hear ducks quacking. Yes. <laughs> we need to figure out what kind of build we would like to do. And I think we might take over kind of this top 
cliff, I guess like mountain kind of set up right here. Let's take a look over our land. Oh yes, I think that this is going to be perfect. We have the swamp there, we have water. Maybe this hill. This hill or that hill? I think I'm gonna go for that hill just to be completely surrounded by the pumpkin pasture and then have that view. I want to go, I think that's a leaf. Let's get our basic kind of stuff, you know, that you need to do in every beginning of every Minecraft. And I think my goal is to today is to start some kind of quick starter home and then obviously be able to get full gear because the gold is nice. I would like to keep it. I've got feather falling boots on, which is awesome. But I think we start with just a simple starter base kind of up in here on the hill and then start planning out kind of like our mega build. Oh my goodness, there are different colored mushrooms. I am not fully aware of the beauty of this. But I think we will end up building probably... I kind of want to go peek that hill. Let's grab some stuff and then I will let you guys know the specific coordinates I do end up picking out. I'm trying to just find the right spot. Because, you know, there's just a spot that always feels right before you do a build. And I know I want to be on top of one of the hills, but I was trying to see how deep the pumpkin pastures biome goes. And it goes on for a while. I wanted to come peek at this cherry biome, cherry blossom biome. Um, but I think, again, 100% sold on the pumpkin pasture. Now I just have to find the right hill that I want to live on. You know, we have to begin with chopping down some trees and I'm really trying to become one with the birch. I think with the leaves and the fall inspiration, especially because we're in fall right now, it is just making me want to build with birch, which is not my favorite, but I'm trying to work with it more. And I do end up stripping it, but I'm just trying to lay out some kind of open concept, little starter base structure with it here. And yeah, we strip it. I think it um, is more tolerable stripped, but you know, to be honest, if I keep this building in the long run, I might, you know, mix some other colors of wood in here and other textures just to kind of match up with the biome a little better so not everything is birch. And then in this mod pack, there's this, that block that's called blue white, I think. And that felt like it just, the blue color with the orange is like, orange and teal is chef's kiss to me. And these bees come busting out because they was stuck in their little hive. But we're just setting up our little farm here and I'm glad I rescued the bees. And yeah, just moving along with our little farm, just trying to work with the hills and the biome as it is i don't want to try i kind of want to leave everything as intact as i can so that way i'm forcing myself to work around everything but then i decide let's go caving i need and my goal was iron gear and just the whole iron setup and so you know we gotta go caving we gotta go deep diving and I feel like I'm able to take more risks here than I am in my hardcore if you're watching that 
But this skeleton, <laughs> Thompson, scared the absolute crap out of me. He dropped in on my face as I was digging out coal. And I know kind of through here it gets real squirrely. It veers off in so many different directions. And I don't end up clearing out the entire cave. So this is a great place to get resources continually as I keep coming back in here. And we got our first creepy boy. And we're on our iron game. Gotta grind for that iron so we can get tools and armor. Like, what is our first goal in this first episode? All the iron. <laughs> And this cave has plenty of it. Making our iron pants. So we just need the chest plate and the helmet. And here comes the helmet. So we officially have all of our iron gear. And then I stumble upon this ravine, so... I do end up grabbing cords of it, and I'm gonna have to come back to it later. So we just take a quick peek, and then we back up. And this is gonna be left for another time, but it could be another great place just to get a ton of resources. Who knows what we will find down there. So we head back out. And then I know I would like to get some sheep and some cows, start working on an enchantment table. Getting all of that going, you know, your very necessary stuff in any Minecraft server, Hardcore World, SMP, Survival, y'all know how it works. So I got myself my first set of sheepies. And we breed them. And then I found a double stack, two cows and two sheep that I brought back with me. So now we've got a decent amount of kind of a start of some animals. We did end with full iron armor today. We have our shield. Oh, let me eat my apricot here. But yeah, we have our shield. We've got bees, we've got um, somewhat of a starter base up there we got our sheep and some cows and we got our farm going but yeah this is where i'm going to end the first episode of our shadowcraft smp um i'm excited to introduce you to everyone and i think next episode we will be focusing on starting our build back there by the copper starting to utilize that and of course, one of the main goals up front is getting the diamond armor so we can be protected from the shadows and see how we can possibly help each other and the Sun Queen. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode of the Shadowcraft SMP.